What is up guys? This is Joe King John C4 and today I'll be reviewing the Call of Duty Vanguard beta. If you guys are not aware yet, the beta was available over the weekend for the PS5 first. So I managed to play all the maps and use all the guns and stuff. And today I'm here to tell you guys, you know, what was the good thing and what was the bad thing about the whole ordeal. But uh, I would like to talk to you guys first about the bad things because I think this is what everybody could agree on. So one of the biggest bad things of this whole game of the beta was that the spawn system was terrible it was on every single map not just hotel royale because i know that's the one that got mentioned the most but every single map had the same problem enemies and teammates were spawning on the same single spot it's like they didn't put enough spawn points or something but it was bad it was really bad people were just hiding in the corner and they were just getting large change of kill streaks because Everybody just kept on spawning in this one single spot, especially in Hotel Royale. It was that insane. If people had flamethrowers and just stand behind that spawn point, they're going to get like 100 kills at that point. <laughs> it was insane. Maybe the developers were just doing this for a meme. Maybe they're just doing it for reactions. But fix your game. Do not keep this in the final product, please. So uh, besides the spawn system, the next big problem was that uh, that was pretty much mentioned a lot on Twitter is that the sound was off which is true i mean i don't even use the sound through my headset i use it through the, through the tv and let me tell you guys something yes the sounds are too low even with people not using silencers or subsonic and they're just using you know the compensator and stuff you cannot hear the shots that's how low it was so besides being low also there was another technical difficulty along with it which was that the sound would just automatically or randomly just pop off like it was just max volume the whole thing and you just hear like a bunch of static and the volume sounds like it's a meme you know like one of the static memes i forgot the name of it when you increase all the bass all the way up that's how it sounds it sounded so bad i'm like what's going on here first it sounded like one second it sounds super silent and then all, all of a sudden it just sounded like i'm about to blow off the roof so so yeah the sound was a big problem in this game um it needs to be fixed i've never experienced this before in call of duty but uh yeah it's one of my minor complaints but for the rest of the people who bought expensive headsets just to hear your footsteps from a mile away yes it's a big problem for them so um i mean i don't mind to be honest i usually play my tv on low and i don't even hear i don't hear anybody and i still get a bunch of kills so um so yeah but for those people who buy headsets yeah it will be a big problem for you so hopefully they do fix it though i'm, I'm not saying don't fix it like yeah they need to fix this part another thing that was a big complaint was the map red star now the map red star is a snowy map with a bunch of buildings around that you can go into and uh there's this one big camping spot on the rooftop of red star and uh, yeah it was abused by a lot of people literally like three like around three enemies would just be up there protecting the climbing stairway and then the actual stairway and then the other one would just be looking out through the you know out the window and stuff it was annoying yeah it was that map is horrible uh due to the fact that it was mostly 6v6 matches they should limit that map to a 10 versus 10 or 14 versus 14 because 6 versus 6 it was boring as hell i'm telling you guys right now that map is boring it was only fun when it was 10 versus 10 or 14 versus 14. i know you can easily get spawn trap in that thing but i mean you can get a bunch of kills in that map not, i'm not gonna lie even when being spawn trapped you can get a lot of kills but um as a six versus six map it does not work it's too boring it's too large this is like another case of Stonehenge from Call of Duty Ghost. If you guys have ever played Call of Duty Ghost, the largest map in that game was called Stonehenge. And 6 vs 6 does not work in that map either. It was boring, man. Because you can barely find anyone. So, um, so yeah, new Red Star can be revived or be good if only if it is 14 vs 14 or 10 vs 10 or whatever. <laughs> So anyways, moving on to the good stuff, um, I think the weapons reacted pretty well, I'm not going to lie, they have a lot of potential, I didn't have any problems with, you know, uh, making kills or getting kills, you know, the bullets do connect better than Call of Duty Cold War by a mile, like Cold War was so inconsistent with the damage, it's insane, I feel like I'm playing the lottery here with damage, so um, yeah, the damage was consistent, I like this game, It it that's already a big plus for me. The lag was not that bad either. I think maybe like one out of 10 matches for me, it was laggy. So um, there's some what of consistency, but I'm hoping they fix that. 
as for the um the maps i mean two out of the three were good um the customization for the weapons were pretty good too i mean they given us seven attachments to put on our guns that's insane but to be honest some of these weapons do not need that many attachments because they will affect their accuracy by a mile so you're good with five or four kind of so uh, test out your guns guys I'll be posting up best class setups in the future so you guys can see what kind of guns actually do work with just five attachments because having a bunch of them is just insane but sometimes it just works with when you have like little like very little bit of attachments so um so yeah i mean i think that's pretty much my review it's just a quick review um nothing else to say really um another positive could be the kill streaks i mean the kill streaks are not that bad they're not too op but I'm hoping there's a bigger list because it does, does look like a little list of its kill streaks. So I'm pretty sure we're missing like around five or something. So hopefully there's more kill streaks than what we got right now. Um, so the controls and how the player moves, it's uh, the same thing as Modern Warfare, to be honest. I mean, that system, that movement system was not as bad as you think. Like, it's actually pretty decent. It looks realistic. So I don't mind. The, the time to kill is actually pretty decent. It's not as bad as Cold, Cold War when it was just, uh, like I said, it was like a lottery. So um, pretty much that's my quick review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. The beta, I rated like a 7 out of 10. I think it could be better. The spawns really killed it. And uh, the weapon saved it. But uh, we'll see what's up in the final product. So that is it. Leave a like and I'll see you guys later.